Yo, what's up everybody? And welcome back to another video. This is a little bit of a treat of one because as you'll see, all the cars are all nicely set up. We just did our video of the garage tour going kind of in depth with some of the cars. But to your right, Sam, you will see I've got some friends here. We've got Josh, Mandana Hello. and Dave. He's all lying, he doesn't have any friends. We are stumbled upon here by mistake. They like me so much, they pay me to be their friend. So, <laughs> <laughs> so basically, they're stopping by on the way to Poland. We've got the unit out. We've just done a little car tour. So make sure you check out the Drift Games channel for that because it was a lot of fun and it's cool to actually be interviewed about my things for a change. It's kind of nice. Um, but Dave, yet another new vehicle I see you in from the... I don't buy many. Just, just a new one every time I see him. Um, yeah, this is a good one. So like you're doing it. a... Come and talk to my camera quickly, sir. Hello, camera. So um, you're doing a, a drive from Ireland, Dublin, all the way to Poland, Warsaw. In a very, very awkward way. So we're going through the Nürburgring, which is the opposite way. Yep. Of, so we're doing a long trip, and then our boys are coming with all of our merch shop stuff in the vans and trailers directly. Yep. But we had an idea, which was to buy a car. And we needed a suitable car for the journey, so we needed space. Because obviously we have all the camera gear, all the luggage for a week and a half. Yep. So basically... Oh, hello, Wilma! Hello, Wilma! Hey, you're no funny! No one cares about cars now. <laughs> hey, you're funny! <laughs> yeah! Finn's not here, man! Sorry, it's my brother's dog. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to Poland, to the final, and we bought this car. So this is a strange story, Adam. So this car was uh, a demo car for Kazama Pro Mode in Japan. So when they made this kit, this was the car they brought out to show the yeah, kit. Yeah, cool. And then a guy in Ireland bought it in 2016, and never ever took it out of his garage. Really? Never really? took it out. So basically, in 2016 he bought it, it needed a clutch, it needed a few bits and pieces. Wait, wait, whoa. Take it off the roof of the car. <laughs> <laughs> but I mentioned I'm doing this trip with Josh and Lucas, which is the hardest part. Everyone's like, oh, it must be hard driving JDM, lowered car, all that. No, just Josh and Lucas. <laughs> well, you just bought two kids with you. We slept the last We slept all. It was the best trip there through. through <laughs> just two boys were asleep. Anyway, she's, um, yes, yeah, so we left in 2016. Just did nothing with it, put a clutch in it. And then all of a sudden, it just uh, was left in a shed for a very long time. Classic Irish car story. And then a friend of ours actually owns a JDM car dealership and it popped up and we were like, what's the story with this? He's like, a friend of mine owned it, just did nothing with it. And then he said, uh, I went up, had a look at it. It's super clean, like 45,000 miles. It's got basic bolt-ons, exhaust, intercooler, bits and pieces. We put a set of BCs on there with correct spring rates because we had done it with the Verosa, so we knew what was right. We put the two-way out of the Verosa in there as well for just, you know, reliability. And uh, not to drift anywhere. And then we put a set of Stroms. That's actually 10.5s on the front, so it's, wow, it's really? a, it's a wide, on the front. yeah, it's a wide car. And do you know why we put 10 and a halfs on the front? Because the 10 and a half looks really good, but we wanted four wheels all the same on the car because we have a spare 10 and a half in the boot. Oh, nice. So okay. anything gets a puncture <laughs> or whatever, if we hit a wheel, we can replace it. And yeah, she's pretty much brand new. We just modernized it, and we're going to give the car away when we get to Poland. So yeah. it's got a mission. The mission is to get to Poland, meet loads of cool people along the way, see loads of cool cars. And then when we get to Poland, roll, roll into the stadium, do a donut, and then <laughs> we're going to give it away to somebody else. By the way, this stadium is crazy, it's and it's sold nice. out. It's sold out, man. It's going to be so cool. 55,000 um, people, Adam. I don't, I don't think we ever dreamed of something like that for drifting. So I said, like, you're going to Poland. What's the flag color? <laughs> Red and white. What's the car color? Red and white. There you go. So it's all, it's all fitting in nicely. So yeah. I have to say, when I first, when you first pulled up, it's this bit that I really like, this rear the end. Rear like fender? The, yeah, this is so really unusual. Cool. It, it always seems to me like everything that comes from Japan, everyone goes, oh, "That's so cool," and they must have put so much thought into that. I feel like they were just like, "Oh, what do we do here? What do we do here? <laughs> what if we just put a triangle? Yeah. And just put, and it works really well. I think it looks so cool. And uh, yeah, the front I'm, fender is very aggressive too. Like these vents are probably the most aggressive vents I've seen on a on a. Like a, like a JZ yeah. car. I'm gonna enter for it, by the way. You should. I'd like you to win it. I'd like someone I, we know to win it. I, I think it's a very good car. And I think we've made a big mistake because I feel like we're gonna be so sentimentally attached to this car by the time we get to Poland that I won't want to give it away. But um, it's a good car. We've had a lot of fun with it. There's a lot of gear in there. Like we have- Dials put, on the dash, that's cool. Yeah, it's got four dials on the dash. We put in Bluetooth and CarPlay and all that. Cause you know, it's a week and a half on yeah. the road. And yeah, and she's factory manual too, which is quite rare. And then obviously it's a 2001, so quite late model of a JZX. Mm. And there's not too many 110s in, around the place. Like they're not, well, not really done up. Like they're quite yeah. stock looking. So this one's quite unusual. And um, yeah, really nice car. Just put a few bits and pieces on it. Nothing too crazy. Obviously reliability. Mm. I 
just said like a late 90s early 2000s so it was definitely gonna make it to Poland yeah, yeah. everything else like Renault's I would be like <laughs> not for me so of all the cars we had this was one we had to buy one to be reliable yeah. we could just take one we had yeah, yeah. Go, not sure any of these cars are gonna make it so we bought one so. that's what I would have to do as well if someone yeah. was like do you wanna come on a road trip I'd be like I need to buy a car they'd yeah. be like you have a lot I'd be like yep and yeah, none yeah. of them work so uh, you know maybe the X5 would probably get there but that wouldn't be as fun as a fun journey so I like um, the we're having fun with it it's obviously we're two days in now and yeah it's a bit low and obviously when mm. you put the weight in the back and the boys are in there she's she's sitting quite low but you know what no issues so far and i've got down your lane adam it could probably get anywhere in anywhere europe anywhere in the world so while i've got you here dave and the first time you've been out to see all of my yes. my, my precious parts of cars what's your favorite because they're, they're all different right they're all they're all something Do you know it's funny it's a very it's a very me collection mm. like i have this theory that no car does everything mm -hmm. that's always been my theory that somebody tries to make their car an all-rounder you have to sacrifice somewhere yeah so i think between the civic the s15 and the m3 of those cars for me there's always a bit of everything because mm. this has got the v8 so it's got yep. the noise and it's got the kind of modern looks to it to a certain extent so no offense to any old school jvm cars but that has a little bit of comfort you could drive mm. that a distance and it sounds good feels good and it's like something good handling the eg is just gangster like that's mm. something that and you know what's funny every year passes they get more special yeah. more rare more kind of iconic because this is the car to me that started my real hardcore interest in it and even though i never owned one yeah because of fast and the furious yeah. the original one with Hec the, the, Hector, the three spoon well, no, engines the, the, and all that the, yeah but like the three black oh, the, ones the coupes yeah, yeah, yeah the three coupes they were like the dream car when i was in school yeah. and then obviously i went from this loving this in school to having and owning one of those when yeah. i was in college because they were back in my day were like four and a half thousand euros so yeah. oh, they were just an old nissan but that to me is like even in, in the style that you've done it I like deliveries, I like a bit of wild, I like them a bit, especially for a drift mm. car. I think a drift car should have a bit of show along yeah. with the go. Yeah, yeah. So I think that just fitment, style, everything is pretty sweet. I'm not sure about the Peugeot and the Renault, but uh, they're kind of not. You know what, right? The Renault I only bought because my brother bought one, so he's got a red one around there. Okay. And I was like, wait, you can buy one of these with Brembos and Ricaros they for five value. grand. I was like, but now I understand. But why if you're an avid follower of Adam's channel, you'll understand why they're five grand, <laughs> yeah. and that there is no such thing as free horsepower. It because comes I'll cost you a, another five grand it comes every year. With a price, and the price is it may not work some of the time. You should take the seats out of it and put them in something else, and you do all right. And the Brembo is about the best. Do you know what, right? I like it's right there. It's one of those things. <laughs> Yeah, but look at the brakes we've got on that now. Them brakes, that was one of the most expensive things. Other than the engine in that, that was the most money I ever spent on anything. I've never spent that much money on brakes, which is, yeah. which is a really bad thing to say yeah. when you've got a lot of cars over 600 horsepower. But in drifting, it, the brakes aren't that... Yeah, yeah, you're I've on got, them a lot, it's your problem. But I've got the uh, 350Z set up in that now. So it's got the 350Z Brembo's front and perfect. rear, and they're great. They're perfect. Um, I mean, a stock car like the 350Z, which you can buy so cheap, yeah. comes with the Brembo. Yeah. Comes with and the, the gearbox. And the gearbox. Yeah. And the diff shaft, if yeah. you want. So that's kind of like... You can just throw the rest of the car away, yeah. even though they're a good car. But um, I think this and this and this for me, it's a lovely mix of stuff. If I had to come down and choose one to drive, this is obviously the raw yeah. gripper. This, this is the raw same. drifter. And yeah. then this is kind of a bit of both. This kind of, so basically I have a rule. I have a rule now that no car can do the same thing. So I can't, as much as I'd love to have a Type X 180, so I what can't does, What does one. the Peugeot do? It does what the skip it, does. It, 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 blocks, it, it parks in front of the garage it's a, and then it's I lock basic, it. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> it's a padlock. A, yeah, it's a door stopper. So, um, but like, I have like the general, I bought that when I was out of my mind. I didn't know I was buying it. So like, but like, I've got like a rule that I can't, so as much as I'd like to have like an EP3 Type R, I've got a Clio, so I don't need an EP3 Type R. I know, or like, I, I would love a 180 SX road car, like, you know, Type X, See, super I ended up in that problem where I go, I'm building the same car, it just looks different. Yeah, so I got the perfect one here already yeah. and I was like, I have to go through the whole thing again. And the Civic, like I had an EK9 while I had the Civic. And then I, I was just like, well, why have I got two cars that are identical? And then I was, I sold it and ended up selling the DC5 as well to get that. But overall, I think I've got a cool little collection now. I'm really content with them all and I don't really want to change any of them either. So I feel like we're in a good spot, you know? Like if yeah, you were I mean, to be like, hey, we're going to drift in over here, do you want to come? I'd be like, yeah, hell yeah. And you'd be like, oh, we're going to Nervering, do you want to come? Like, hell yeah, I'll take that. You've got it's like one of those ones where I've got a bit of everything. Or we're going on a road trip. You've got, got, two, you you've got a key for every yeah. lock, as they say. Yeah. something that you can use on everything. And I think that's the same for me now is that I have a couple of cars that are almost identical. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. And it's such a luxury that I really can't afford. And I go, I don't, like, uh, why would I drive one yeah. over the other? There's a lot of SR cars where I would say, yeah, the, the 15 for me is like the best. I think. The oh, I should show you really actually. The 15 is like the, of the two, in my opinion, PS13 and 15, best, that's just my opinion, best looking. And then 
It's got that beautiful DY motor in there. Yeah, we have one of those too, and yeah. they are a good engine. That's fantastic. I, I was thinking, it's really weird. I was thinking about it the other day. I was on the computer with a few of my friends. I was like, how crazy is my engine? I was, I was just thinking about all the spec of it and how much money I, I was like, it's like having a Rolex. Like, yeah. you know how some lads have Rolexes on their wrists and they I feel like in, do you know what? This is going to blow everyone's mind. We look at old school builds. Like if something came in from Japan and it had a spoon engine yeah, yeah, or yeah. it had a Toyota engine or whatever. Do you think Dave Yandel will eventually, like in 20 years, I think so. go, there's a DY engine in that yeah. and the thing is in an auction going, yeah. oh, it's an original DY. DY yeah. Because that's how good they are. Yeah, so it I really is. That's like 10, 15 years of advancement on the SR. And, and it, 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 no offense, because I love my 1Js. I love my V8s. But the SR in an, in an S chassis that is to be there. the funnest car to drive. Yeah. I think from a comp level of Driftmasters level, not a chance. Yeah. But from a fun, I have fun in the car every time, yeah. that is the only engine. Because it screams and it makes all the right noises yeah. and the balance is good and you don't have it nose heavy with the six cylinder or the V8. So you a beaut. I love it and uh, hopefully you guys will see it a lot once I've got it all sorted because I want to do like a trip to you guys and then dump it with you guys and then fly home. So that's like Jump is a strong word, but leave. Just throw the keys at you and be like, it's your problem now, boys. I'll see you in a I few weeks. Drive, I can't drive these on the road in Ireland anyway, so you know it's not going to get wrecked. <laughs> but um, I think it just it would sit lovely in our studios, and I think the car just looks great. And yeah. I'm a big fan of the style. I'm mm. a big fan. So when I did the livery, I wanted to talk about this real quick. Because um, like, obviously like the main style of liveries from, is like the, the tribal stuff, right? You see a lot yeah. of that on the Sylvia's. I was talking to Craig about it, and he was like, well, we can do that. Um, but is that what you want? And I was like, I think I want it just super simple. You know, like nothing crazy. Yeah. Like I just want it to stand out, be a bit of me with the six two one. I need six two one massive. I said to him because I want to like obviously have it at the stands it's next to the show. Yeah. And, that's, and also when you're drifting it, you want it to look sick, right? So I think it looks really cool. Um, I wouldn't really do it any different now. I don't think. Um, if I was to do it again, I think if I was, I'd probably tone it down a little bit. Um, no, I, I like it. But I think for now, I mean, if you think about the bonnet on this. If you wanted to go full JDM style, you'd have to put 55 logos on yeah, it. Yeah. Then your logo gets less because yep. there's so many logos. I think this is a nice balance of everything and it just got a pop of color, which the car really works well with. And we left the space on there in case anybody wants to put you know, their logos on, you can pay me for that pleasure, but otherwise they stay in absolutely as it is because I don't want it to be covered in logos. I've got the, the main boys on there. I've got DY, obviously 621. Come down here, got Pure Car Modifier, the parts store I'm doing. Violent D, who were the who did delivery for me. Then we've got the boys, Drift Games. They let me put their logo on the car. I did ask Dave before I did that, by the way. So don't just go and put their logo on your cars without oh, buying it. a sticker from them. Because I had the trust that he would build a cool yeah. car, and he and did. And then, uh, obviously, we've had a bit of tyre rubbage on there, but uh, G3 Pro, the guys that sponsored me for the, the livery. And that's it. They're not livery, the, the cleaning stuff. Other than that, job done. Um, what are we doing now? Do you want to go get some food? and? Go down and get some food. We'll show him old school Manning Tree, which is like a little town near me. And uh, it's, it's got like this where these better than the 75 services that I've been living in the last two days. Cause I'm, I'm gonna take them, just, they're Irish. I'm gonna take them to a pub. A seat would be nice, just yeah. a seat. Yeah, it's, it's a pub that does pizzas, so you're gonna awesome. Yeah, you can we're in, we're in. Cool, right. I just need to. <laughs>